Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a uh, update on what's happening with Windows. So we learned a lot of little things today. Um, one of them is uh, from Zach Bowen from the uh, Windows Central website that uh, has a lot of um, inside news of Windows. So this year, for those that uh, didn't know, we were expecting... Um, of course, we're expecting a minor update to Windows 10 coming up in a month or two, uh, which is the 21H1, which is a small cumulative update, really showing us nothing new um, or very, very little. And it's actually being tested in the beta channel right now, and uh, I have it on my machine, seems to work fine. Uh, that will be a small update once again, so it's going to be two small cumulative updates that uh, go after the may 2020 update and of course these three versions will all be linked they're all pretty much the same version with a very small change in them we were expecting windows 10 x to be released uh soon and uh everything was pointing to the fact that uh, it should be uh this spring but now there's a delay and last year, there were delays in Windows 10 X. And one of the problems with Windows 10 X delays is that it also delays Windows 10's development. So um, last year, when they kind of scrapped Windows 10 X from what it was to be, which was dual screen devices, into single screen devices and low powered laptops, it uh, moved on and then they removed the x86 um Capabilities, meaning that it won't run natively any Windows, um, you know, programs that you can download from the internet uh, on the first version. So it was technically supposed to be finished, pretty much, because it was to be released soon. Now we learned that it's going to be released only this fall. It would seem that they need more time to test. You know, this is something that we talked about uh, a lot, and I've seen a lot of analysts talk about how they should have used one of the insider rings to test it out to make sure that it works fine and that it is okay. And they never did. And they're having tons of problems trying to get Windows 10 X to actually come out, which is um, pretty crazy when you think about it. So it's not until this fall now that apparently devices will come out with this Windows 10 X. And what we learn is that the devices that they are choosing choosing to um, have Windows 10 X will be uh, low-powered uh, um, enterprise and education laptops. So that means it's going to be small, regular, one-screen laptops that will have this. Everything about dual screen that we uh, learned last year on the Microsoft website has been removed. So the uh, famous uh, Surface Neo and you know these devices that they were they were announced last year early last year um, a lot of stuff is not appearing anymore on the website so we're wondering is this still gonna happen uh, it could be 2022 but um, this is um, you know interesting to see all the changes coming up what we know is that apparently Windows 10 X will be finalized by June so that means Technically, it should not impact the fact that Windows 10 in 21H2, the next version of Windows, is going to have major changes uh, that uh, have to do with the Sun Valley um, update. So that means that for now, it should not impact the fact that the next version of Windows is going to be a major Windows 10 version with a lot of new stuff and a lot of changes in its user interface. Also, we know that uh, the famous Project Latte, which is the Android apps running in Windows, is still going forward. So that also, we do not have any dates, but something that maybe 21H2 would be a time to get that in. Uh, it could be next year also. But all of this is showing us that uh, the development of Windows within Microsoft is a very tough one. And it's a very complex issue. And there's no reason for that, especially if you count that Windows 10 X is simply a stripped down version of the core of Windows 10. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be such a problematic uh, uh, you know, update 
and, and uh, operating system. So it's really, really um, weird what's happening. And, you know, Microsoft has not talked about anything, is not talking about Windows. Once again, I don't understand why there's nothing secret about it. They should just open up and say, well, here's what our plans are now for this year. And we thought that this would be happening, but now it's going to happen like that. Um, I really don't understand why Microsoft stays so secretive about its uh, Windows development. So delays in Windows 10 X, and let's hope that it's not going to delay Windows 10 in general, because that would be sad. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.